The sound of thundering hoofbeats echoed across the windy plains. The darkness was illuminated by the moon's light, and in that light Fable saw two figures emerge from a distance. They were galloping towards him. Both had their swords drawn, shining brightly in the moonlight. He knew they were enemies because he could see the red glow of their eyes as they neared him. One bore his long sword high above his head like an eagle about to swoop down on its prey, while the other held his sword out wide with one hand locked around it for support. As they got closer, Fable could tell that their faces looked familiar. They looked like people who had once been friends, but now wore expressions etched with hatred and anger. Fable took a deep breath and exhaled slowly into the cold night air. He reached for his sword and gripped it tightly, as if it might be sufficient to intimidate his attackers. He was a young man of 25 years, strong and wise from the many battles fought in the name of his king. He had met many others who stood for what they thought was right, but he knew that these two men were different. They had been good friends of his until a year ago when their loyalties was tested and they chose poorly. Now Fable was once again face to face with the consequences of their actions. The closer they got, the more desperate Fable became to prepare himself for what was about to happen. He tightened his grip on his sword's hilt and screamed at them, Enough! We can settle this without fighting if you just tell me why you are here. Fable wasn't sure his words were loud enough to reach them over the sound of galloping hooves, but he thought it might be worth a try. Just as he finished speaking, one of the men charged at Fable with his sword extended in front of him like an arrow ready to fly from its bow. As he neared, Fable released all tension in his body to dodge so that when the attacker thrusted his blade at Fable, the sword slid against his skin but did not pierce it. The attacker was surprised by what had just happened and looked closely at Fable's face for a moment. Their eyes locked onto each other and through that newfound realization he muttered, Fabian? Before turning around and quickly riding away. His partner stood there with his sword still pointed in the direction of the two men, trying to decide whether he should follow or try to kill his friend for good. A second later, they both turned their horses around and rode back towards where they had come from.